1999, I received the following letter from Dr. Joseph Newt III. Dear Mr. Sarita, I did look carefully at the video you sent, and I really must apologize to you for not replying sooner. The objects that were on the video appear to me to be floating debris from the cargo bay of the space shuttle. These objects often appeared to be fuzzy because they got quite close to the camera and were often out of focus." End quote. The test that you just saw, I showed a video camera here on a tripod, and I held a, a set of keys only four or five inches away from the camera, and you could see that they were very in focus. In the background, somewhere around 100 feet away, was the tree that you saw. The point that Dr. Newth makes about the video cameras on the space shuttle, that objects as they got close to the camera appeared very fuzzy and became out of focus and, and some disappearing altogether, doesn't seem to really hold up here because video cameras don't actually work the same way optical cameras do. A regular 35 millimeter camera, as you're focused on a distant object, as objects come close to the camera they get very fuzzy, in fact they can disappear altogether. But it's not the case with uh, video cameras that have CCD imaging um, chips inside of them that actually process the images in a very different way than 35 millimeter cameras do. We have to assume, and from studies I've made into the video cameras used on the space shuttle, that they're very high tech, very high quality cameras. Many of them are off the shelf cameras, but they're, they're retrofitted with more advanced chips inside of them and also image intensifiers and special filters. So the camera that we just did the test on was a very high-tech camera, but certainly you can imagine that what they're using on the space shuttle is even better. So why, in this scene that we just did, do a pair of keys appear so crisp and sh so sharp and in focus at the same time we're focused on a very, very distant object? It seems to defy the explanations and reasoning Dr. Newth gave as to what we were seeing on the tape. I think just about any moron can tell the difference between when a disc is going behind this piece of wood and when it's going in front of it. That's in front, that is behind. This is not in front, this is behind. 